The Brain Aneurysm Foundation reports that an estimated 6.5 million people in the United States have an unruptured brain aneurysm or balloon-like bulge in a blood vessel. That's one in 50 people. Community Medical Centers is the first in the Valley implementing a new, minimally invasive treatment to prevent patients' aneurysms from rupturing and bleeding into the brain. An aneurysm is actually a defect with one of the arteries, in this case an artery in the brain. It represents a weak area in that artery and that can be prone to bleeding which can cause a dangerous type of bleeding stroke. About 30,000 people in the United States suffer a brain aneurysm rupture each year. Every 18 minutes a patient suffers a rupture. So the web is a device that we can actually use to implant into the inside of the aneurysm to, to shut it down. The Woven Endobridge Aneurysm Embolization System, or web device, is a self-expanding mesh ball that's implanted at the base of the aneurysm. It causes clotting and prevents more blood from entering the bulge, preventing a rupture in the brain. So it's, it's made out of these metal wires. It's, there's different sizes, so we can select the, the web device that is appropriate for someone's specific aneurysm. And then it's placed into the aneurysm during the surgery. So this is the actual web device. Um, as you can see, it's a there's two forms, there's a cylinder and then there's a sphere, and the one we're looking at is a sphere. And this is a wire braid system that is implanted into the aneurysm itself. The structure of an aneurysm has two important portions, the neck connecting to the artery and a sac or dome of the aneurysm, which is a sort of bulge coming away from the artery. The difficulty that we encounter in a lot of people is when the neck is wide. Other procedures that we do from a minimally invasive standpoint um, to place things into the aneurysm, those things can be defeated because those devices then can then come out because the connection or the neck connecting the aneurysm to the artery is very wide. Dr. Khan says the web device increases the amount of people who are eligible to get treated for certain types of brain aneurysms, meaning fewer people are at risk for rupture. The web device potentially is um, usable in, in a wide variety of patients with aneurysms. A lot of that's going to depend on the actual anatomy, on the structure of that particular person's aneurysm, which they're not going to know, of course, in, until they get imaging and, and, and you know, seek evaluation by someone like myself um, or a similar uh, specialist about what the aneurysm looks like and what would be the most appropriate treatment. With the web device treatment, aneurysms that previously needed the patient to undergo open brain surgery now can be treated in this minimally invasive approach. And additionally, there were even some aneurysms that were probably not operable at all that can now be treated in this way. So I think it's just a very exciting new technology. It's a new tool in our toolkit that we can use to treat brain aneurysms that just wasn't there previously. And I think the important thing is that it's going to allow people to have now the option of a minimally invasive aneurysm treatment in, in whom they didn't have that option or people that didn't have that option previously. If you experience any of the following symptoms, follow up with your physician immediately.